Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me. Well, today I get to share a project with you, a coffee card, and it is for a blog hop that's happening right now. Newton's Nook Designs is hosting a blog hop celebrating National Coffee Day. Love my coffee, so I am super excited to be part of this blog hop. There's lots of inspiration over at the Newton's Nook Designs blog. If you wanna start there, that's where the beginning is. I'll leave a link down below but you're gonna get really inspired with all the coffee projects and um, I hope you join us. There's some prizes to be won too. So my project today, we're gonna be creating with Newton Loves Coffee. It's a six by four or four by six stamp set and love the set. I've used it before. In fact, if I find the video, I'll link it at the end if you want another coffee card project. But we're gonna start off by doing some stamping. I'm stamping Newton, he's hugging a coffee cup and if I could I'd probably hug my own <laughs> I don't think I could function without coffee but we're stamping him with memento ink I'm gonna color in um, this cute little guy along with two of the takeout coffee cups um, with my Copic markers I left the coloring in I'm gonna play a little music while I color and then when I'm done coloring I will catch you back Coloring's all done. Now I decided to um, add a little heart to the coffee cup that Newton is holding here. Um, there's a heart that would fit perfectly on the belly band of the coffee cup here. So we're gonna stamp that just right over the Copic coloring and then I'm gonna take the darkest shade. It was my B45 and I'm gonna color in that heart just so he has um, an extra special coffee cup. <laughs> Okay, after this is done, there are coordinating dies um, that go with the stamp set, and I'll list them down below. Um, I don't have them, so I'm gonna fussy cut my images. They're pretty easy to cut out. Um, I'll just use my scissors, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white border around the edges, and then our images are ready to go. Now, you know, I just went for um, two tones. I have um, Newton, of course, is a warm gray, and then I have my coffee mugs. Um, that are that that blue. Um, I'm kind of going for um, a blue and brown card today. So we have those, we'll set those aside and then we're gonna bring in some pattern papers. I love pattern papers and so I picked um, some browns and blues for my stash and we're gonna cut out a few banners. We're gonna use one of the banners in the stitched, um, the banner trio die set. Um, it's the stitched one. And then we're gonna bring in the frames and flags die set and use um, two of the smaller banners that are in there. 
what I cut out. This was blue cards or pattern paper, and then this one with the striped. I'm going to make my stripes go uh, vertical, or actually, no, I changed my mind. We're going to go horizontal. Now, with this pattern paper, I want to create a background. Now, I love windows and frames on my cards. Maybe that's my, I, I never knew what my signature was, but I think maybe that's, might be what it is. I always have some kind of a frame on my card or a border. Um, so I'm gonna bring in the circle frame dies from Newton's Nook Designs. I'm gonna create a background with the largest scalloped, and then I'm gonna create a frame with the largest scalloped, and then the next size under stitch circle. It creates a perfect frame for that. And it's kind of dainty too, which I like. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is layer all three of these tags together, and then before we adhere our frame, I'm going to tuck them underneath. Um, this way, my little flags um, or banners are lifted up along with the frame. So we'll add a little bit of adhesive. We'll start off with the thickest frame, kind of doing a little tucking. I'm leaving some room on the top for my sentiment, and then um, if it overhangs a little bit outside of the frame, that's okay. We're just going to trim it off with our scissors, but we're just kind of creating different sized banner shapes, trim off the excess, and our frame is ready to go here. So we're going to flip over our frame, and I'm going to grab some foam tape. I'm going to cut a thin strip, and then we're going to go around the outside edge of our frame um, with our foam tape. This is going to give a little bit of dimension to my cards, which I like that too. <laughs> so. Um, We'll just cut a thin strip. And I did find that if you removed the release paper while you're turning your foam adhesive, it's so much easier. I'm gonna trim off the leftover here, and then I'll take some of the thicker foam tape and add it behind my banners. We'll remove the release paper off of this, and then making sure um, that my background circle is straight because there are uh, scripty words on there, or a scripty font, and then, um, I want to make sure that they're not crooked, so I'm making sure they're straight. Um, and then I'm going to line up the scalloped edges with the scalloped on the pattern paper in the back, and we have a pretty frame. That would make a real cute tag, too, actually. <laughs> It'd be nice with a little, um, with a, some twine, putting it around a little coffee. That'd be really sweet. <laughs> okay, went ahead and grabbed my card base, which is the standard A2 size card base. We're going to adhere our frame in the center. Once we have this adhered, we're going to flip over our Newton and both the coffee mugs, and um, we're going to adhere him um, basically over the, the, the side of the banners there. And I think they look, I love this, I love blue and brown for coffee colors. I don't know what it is. <laughs> It'd be make a great uh, uh, baby boy, um, uh, baby shower card too. Well, minus the coffee, but love those colors. <laughs> okay, for the sentiment, we're going to bring in a speech bubble. This is from Newton's Nook Designs. We're going to take the rectangle one here. I'm going to die cut this out. And I went ahead and just stamped the sentiment that says, we make the perfect blend. And I did stamp a little heart off to the left of the sentiment here. Colored it in with the same colors that I used um, for the coffee part there. We're going to flip over our sentiment. And I have a little bit of ink that's on the edge. So I'm going to use my sand eraser and erase that off. And then we'll pop this up and place this on the inside of our window, just above Newton here. Now I thought we were missing something, so I stamped that little heart one more time and used the same colors and colored it in. I'm going to fussy cut this out. Now if you have the coordinating dies, you could die cut it out um, easier, but it doesn't take too long to fussy cut. I am going to pop this up with foam adhesive, so we'll cut a thin strip, place it behind the little heart, and then um, add that on the inside of our, our window frame here. Last but not least, for our finishing touches, I'm gonna add some Nouveau Crystal Drops. This is Morning Dew. It's a, a thick, like glossy accents. It's gonna dry clear, but also give it dimension. And I just added it above all three of the hearts. The one on the sentiment, the one on the coffee cup, and then also the one we just fussy cut out. And then um, I am gonna highlight my coffee cups. Um, at least the bands on my coffee cup with my white gel pen, just to make them stand out a little bit more. But that completes my card for today, guys. I encourage you to check out the blog hop. It's super fun. 
Um, uh, and I think you'll have a blast. Join us. Links are down below. Have a fabulous day. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.